Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy, and today, doing a little head-to-head -head comparison with the Aaron 18-year-old versus the Aaron Sherry Cast cast strength. Who's gonna win out in age versus ABV? I'll show you my favorite when I nose them, taste them, and give them a mark. All right, both of these whiskeys, non-chill filtered, no added color. The 18-year-old coming in at 46%, and the Cast Strength Bodega, 55.8% ABV. They both share quite a few similar characteristics on the nose. Um, the 18, lots of those plum, like red plum, uh, raisin, you know, the typical sherry notes you'd get. A uh, little nuttiness on this one. So there's a little nutty element to both of these. I'd say on the 18s, maybe leaning to more towards almonds, whereas on the Bodega Cast Strength, maybe more chestnut kind of note. Uh, interesting. A little bit of like chocolate element. Um, both of these share that. They share like the, the dry red fruits you'd expect with sherry casks. Bodega, uh, more intense on the nose, um, whereas the 18, more approachable, of course. On the Bodega, I'd say maybe like a little bit like cherry element to a little cherry pie filling. Um, perhaps a little more orange, like a little orange peel note you get on the Bodega that doesn't come in the 18. But pretty similar. Of course, the intensity on the cast strength is more as you'd expect, and maybe a little more richer uh, elements on the 18. Let's go palette. The notes that stand out on the 18, chocolate fudge, absolutely through the roof enjoyable as far as that chocolate fudge note in, in there. That is like a sherry bomb of a note, absolutely love it. Uh, salted caramel comes through, again that citrus, you get the typical sherry notes, the dry red fruits. You get the dry red fruits with the bodega as well, but the difference is sharper for sure on the palate, on the finish. Again, that orange characteristic carries over that I don't necessarily get in the 18. And the richness of the 18 isn't necessarily in here. You definitely get more youthful but pungent uh, type of notes. Whereas the 18, much more uh, richer and, and refined, of course, as you'd expect with the age difference. Um, there's no age statement on this, although I've read that it's seven years old. I think one uh, of the websites I read that they're selling this, it did say seven. So if that's the age of this, uh, unconfirmed on the bottle label, um, but perhaps around seven years old. So you're looking, you know, um, definitely a lot younger than, of course, the 18. And the, uh, the whiskey speaks for itself in that regard. You do get the chocolate elements a little bit in this, but not nearly as much as the 18-year-old. The 18-year-old, that chocolate fudge note is cranked up to 11. Uh, here, it doesn't really say to like the fudge, but you do get a little like chocolate, milk chocolate. Both really nice pours, really nice sherried whiskey. I think the complexity isn't there with these, um, as you maybe look for other distilleries with their 18 year olds getting a lot more uh, complex notes, maybe some more subtle differences. These things kind of just give you um, the notes you'd expect, but they do it really well. Um, the 18 year old, a uh, favorite of mine for sure, put this one in uh, my top five uh, Scotch whiskeys for beginners because I think it's a great heavily sherried note with some nice age to it. Not overly complex, um, you kind of, you get what you get with this, but just delicious whiskey. Cast strength, um, the vibrancy, the, atta the attack that this thing delivers on the palate. Uh, it's youthful, um, but it's good. Again, I love what Aaron is doing with these new uh, product lines they're rolling out, the new labeling. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's delicious whiskey and it's well-priced. Um, score rise for me on this one. I've scored this one before. Um, I'm giving it 87 and a half out of 100, but for value, let's crank it up an extra point. 120 Canadian dollars is what I paid for this. Um, the cast strength, let's go 86 out of 100. I paid 70 Canadian dollars for this. I'm gonna bump that up a half tick for value. Uh, 86 and a half out of this. 88 and a half on the 18 year old. Can't go wrong with either purchase, in my opinion, if you're getting it for those prices. Um, even in the UK, I think these are even cheaper, depending on what market you're in. I think the US is even is a little bit more money uh, for these things, but buying in Canada, buying in the UK, uh, cannot go wrong with these prices. And uh, yeah, just delicious sherry. Um, like I said, not overly complex, not crazy uh, elements that you haven't tried before, but what you're getting is solid, very good quality indeed. Let me know your thoughts. Um, have you tried the Bodega Sherry Cask Cask Strength? Have you tried the 18-year-old? I know the 18-year-old is getting a lot of uh, whiskey buzz uh, between me and some other reviewers for sure. Definitely a good, good pour. Um, so let me know what you think. Tried it, let me know. 
Um, where would you score this uh, in your books? Higher or lower than me? Let me know in the comments down below. Appreciate you watching. As always, uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe if it's your first time here. Find your way back to the channel for lots more good content and have a good one, guys. Cheers.